arrived at the gates, they didn't let us in. They said only people 40 years and older can enter. They began to throw stone grenades while we were standing, not doing anything. We came only to pray in Al-Aqsa Mosque. We are coming from far away. It's a shame. This is our our Al-Aqsa. We need to pray in it. They are forbidding us from entering. What do we do? I think what we see today is a very serious provocation and it will de definitely lead to an escalation. And maybe this is exactly what this Israeli government wants. They want to distract attention from their internal division, from the, from the demonstrations that are taking place inside Israel against this government. And they want to drag the whole region into a total, uh, total uh, explosion. <laughs> is partially blaming, quote, increasing incitement on social media networks by terrorist organizations. But we have to remember that the Palestinians, their lives continue to deteriorate under the more than 50 year Israeli occupation. This year is on track to be another violent one in the occupied West Bank. 93 people have been killed so far this year. And there is a government in power now. It's the most far right government in place. And human rights groups are saying that this is a government that is pursuing policies, targeting Palestinians, restricting their rights.